Hi, I'm Eric Siegel with Eric'sTrains.com. Today we're going to be checking out some cool new freight rolling stock. What we've got here is a couple sets of the new Atlas Masterline 3 rail O scale Gunderson Maxi 4 well cars, as well as the Atlas 53 foot containers that go in the well cars. All right, so it's always fun when I get to review something from Atlas. You know, Atlas doesn't put out near as much O-scale product as someone like Lionel or MTH. But when they do put out something, it is always extremely high quality and extremely well detailed. And of course, that's the case here. Now, these are not the first well cars that Atlas has put on the market. Several years ago, they put out some Gunderson stack cars, which were absolutely amazing. I've got quite a few of them in my fleet and I run them on my layout all the time pretty much because they are so incredible. And these are a worthy addition to that product line. These are of course a different type of stack car than the previous Gunderson stacks but they're just as nice and just as high quality. One of the things that makes these things so high quality is that the cars themselves are all metal, very little plastic, and so they have a really nice weight to them. Even though they're just well cars, which are typically kind of flimsy, they have a great weight to them. And for that reason, I've learned to always run my Atlas stack cars at the front of my train rather than at the rear. And that's especially true if I'm running a mixed train that has some Lionel and some MTH and some Atlas. I run the lighter weight Lionel and MTH stuff at the rear of the train and I run the heavier Atlas stuff at the front of the train because I learned the hard way that if you do it the other way around, the Atlas cars are so heavy that they'll actually tear the couplers apart and give you all sorts of problems. So it's a good problem to have when you have a car that is so well made and so heavy that you have to arrange your train accordingly to make the train run smoothly and that's what happens with these cars they are just so incredible so what i've got here is two sets of these well cars each set consists of three interlocking cars and then the new atlas 53 foot containers are sold separately they do not come with the set so I had to buy those separately. So I've got six well cars here and 12 containers. We'll take a look at the containers later on. We're gonna start off by talking about the cars. We'll go over some specs and then we'll take a look at the cars. There's not that much to see, but what there is to see is really, really nicely done. After that, we'll talk about the containers and then we'll wrap things up by taking these things for a spin around the layout. So let's get started. Let's go over some quick stats and facts on these cars. Now, there are three cars. The B car has two trucks. The other two cars have one truck each. Because the B car has two trucks, it weighs the most. It weighs just over two pounds. The other two cars weigh just under two pounds. Each of these cars is right around 17 inches or so in length. The minimum required curve to operate these cars is 054, however, Atlas recommends that you run them on at least 072. So I've taken the containers out of the cars for the time being so that we can focus on the cars. Like I said, there are three interlocking cars in each set. At this end, we've got the A car. In the middle is the C car. And then back here where we started is the B car. Here's a look at the joint between the cars and to separate them it's very easy. You just lift up and pull away and then to join them back together just drop it in there like that. Couldn't be easier. Now it should be noted that only the B car here has two full trucks. The other cars have to share a truck with the adjoining car so you can see that the C car here in the middle only has one truck and same thing for the A car back there. So this one has to hook to the C car and then the C car has to hook up to the B car in order for the whole thing to work. So you can't run these cars individually. Here's a look at the end of the B car which is by far the most detailed end of any of the cars and as you can see it looks fantastic. We've got these great looking see-through metal walkways everywhere all sorts of awesome detailing going on here. 
We've got lots of legible signage. The trucks, of course, are die cast metal. They are sprung and they also have rotating bearing caps. Now, as I said earlier, these cars are mostly made up of die cast metal, but they do have some plastic on some of the detail parts, especially down here at the end. But that doesn't take away from the beauty of these cars at all. Here's a closer look at the joint between the B car and the C car. Not as fancy as the end of the B car, but it's still nice. And again, you can see these really nice die cast metal trucks with the rotating bearing caps. You can probably see it a little better if I tilt it up a little bit like that. Looks great. And here's a look at the joint between the C car and the A car. It's a little fancier because we've got some nice air brake equipment right here. And then here's a look at the end of the A car, which is pretty plain, but we do have lots of these etched metal walkways going on. And these etched metal walkways are really my favorite part of these cars. They look so awesome. Here's a look down into the well on one of these cars. Now again, this is all die cast metal, so it has a great feel to it. There are four holes, one on each corner, and those accept the pins that are on the bottom of each 53 foot container. I'll show you those later. And then if you look here, you can see we've got some nice cast in detailing here and in the middle of these X's. All right, now let's talk about the 53 foot containers that go into the well cars. These are also made by Atlas, but as I said earlier, they are sold separately. So they do not come with the Maxi 4 well cars. When you buy them, you have to buy them on your own. They are extremely well done, which is par for the course for Atlas. Now, unlike the previous containers that Atlas has done, namely the 40 and the 45 foot containers, these do not have opening doors on the ends. They're very nicely done, as you can see, they just don't have opening doors. You know, it'd be nice if they did, but it's not the end of the world. It's not a deal breaker. They are still very, very, very nice. Now, on the underside of each of these containers, there are four pins, and these pins are used to lock the containers together, like that. And if your container is the bottom one on the stack, these pins will go into the holes that are on the bottom of the well car that I showed you a minute ago. Now, the pins are packaged separately in the box when you buy these containers. They come in a little baggie. And what I like to do is I take a little dab of super glue and I glue these pins into the bottom of the containers. That way I don't lose them because if these things pop out, I guarantee you will never ever see them again. Atlas has made six different paint schemes for these 53 foot containers, as well as an undecorated, unpainted version. Now, it would have been really easy and probably much cheaper for Atlas to use the same model for all six paint schemes, but they actually didn't do it that way because that's not how it's done in the real world. And because Atlas likes to be as realistic as possible, they've actually made two different types of 53 foot containers. And I've got an example of each one of those types here. The top container here is an example of what's called a Jindo container because in the real world, they are made by the Jindo Container Company, which I believe is over in China. And then the bottom container is an example of what's called a CIMC container because those are made by China International Marine Container Company, which is also over in China. Now there are some subtle differences between the two types of containers and you can probably see some of those subtle differences yourself. But the way that I tell them apart at a glance is that on the CIMC container, both of the ends are straight across. They're flat. On the Jindo container, it's flat on this end, but on the door end, it's actually angled down toward the door. And then on the door ends, you can see that there are some subtle differences between the way the doors are done on the Jindo containers versus on the CIMC containers. So it's pretty cool that Atlas did it this way, and they split it right down the middle. I said that there are six different paint schemes. Well, three of the paint schemes are done in the Jindo containers and the other three paint schemes are CIMC containers. And for each paint scheme, there are six different road numbers. So let me show you the Jindo containers first. We've got the CSX version that you've already seen, and I've got two road numbers of this. Then there's a Pacer Stack Train Jindo container, and I've also got two road numbers for this one. And then there is a red hub group container which I've also got two road numbers for. 
So those are the three paint schemes for the Jindo containers. On the CIMC side, we've got the EMP container that you've already seen. And again, I've got two different road numbers for this. Then there's a green hub group container. I've also got two road numbers for that. And then there's a blue UMAX container. And I've also got two road numbers of this one. So those are the three CIMC paint schemes. Now, when it comes to buying these containers, you can buy them one at a time from your Atlas dealer, and they will cost you about 25 or 30 bucks a piece. And that's probably how you'll want to do it if you're trying to buy every single road number that Atlas made. But in my case, I was just trying to fill out two sets of the well cars. So what I did is I actually bought the assortment six packs that Atlas has made available for these. They have two six packs available. There's a CIMC six pack and a Jindo six pack. So with the Jindo six pack, I got two of each of these and each one was a different road number. And then for the CIMC six pack, there were two of each of these, and each one was a different road number. And so in one fell swoop, I got all of my containers taken care of for both sets. I got 12 containers. And it's also cheaper to do it that way because individually they'll cost you about 30 bucks a piece, but I was able to get the six packs for about 120 or 130 bucks a piece, so I saved some money there. So if you're trying to kill all six birds with one stone and get all six containers at once for a set, that's the way to do it, and that's the way that I did it, and that's the way that I would recommend doing it, unless, like I said, you're filling out a big fleet where you feel that you need to get every single road number that Atlas has made. Now, in addition to the painted versions that you've already seen, Atlas also makes an unpainted, undecorated version of each type of container. This is the undecorated version of the CIMC container that I have here. And as you can see, there's nothing to it. So if you want to do a custom paint job, here's your chance. They also make an undecorated version of the Jindo container, but I don't have a sample of that here. When it comes time to fill up the well cars, you can mix and match the containers any way you want. It really doesn't matter. So here in the first car, I'll put my CSX container down there. And then I'll put another one on top like that. And then we'll move on to the second one, and I'll do some CIMC containers here. There we go. And then for the last car, just for the heck of it, we'll do one CIMC container on the bottom, and a Jindo container on the top. And that's just to show you that you can mix and match these things any way you want. Alright, I've got my two sets of the Maxi 4 well cars hooked up to an engine. So let's go ahead and take them around the layout for a minute.
right, that about wraps it up for this review. As you've seen, these are absolutely beautiful and they are worthy successors to the last well cars that Atlas put out a few years ago. Now, if you're interested in purchasing these, a three car set, if you get the three rail version, has a retail price right at $290. If you want the two rail version, it's about 10 bucks more, right at $300. There are four road names available, and for each road name, they did two sets. So that's why I have two of the TTX sets. So the road names are TTX, of course, Florida East Coast, BRAN, and BNSF. And then again, when it comes to the containers, they will run you about 30 bucks a piece, or if you do like I did, and you buy the six pack, the six pack has a retail price of 180, but I was able to get mine for about 125 or 130. So that's definitely the most economical way to go. Now, of course, keep in mind, all the prices I've mentioned are retail prices. If you go through a good Atlas dealer, you should be able to get a little bit of a discount off those retail prices. And as always, if you're looking for a good train store to go through and a good Atlas dealer, you can try my favorite train store, which is Legacy Station. You can find them on the web at www.legacystation.com or give them a call at 770-339-7780. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Eric Siegel, and I'll see you next time. To discuss this model or any other O-Gage trains and to meet other O-Gage modelers, check out the O-Gage Railroading Magazine online forum at ogrforum.ogagerr.com.